When it comes to videos that has his own opinion towards games, I'm not sort of really like that. But when it comes to this game, this one sparks his own uniqueness that, from all the games I've played before. And yeah, this is my own opinion towards Genshin Impact. Before I start this video, I would like to say that uh, go to my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash phantomriamu, and uh, I'll be stre live streaming once a week. Uh, I think uh, tomorrow I will be live streaming uh, COD World War, War Zombies with a friend of mine. Uh, we'll be live streaming. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what time. I will indeed notify from Twitter exactly a Twitter page that nobody goes there, <laughs> which is a shame. But just to let you know, it's uh, Phantom Realm as well. You can just find it there. And obviously, leave a like if you enjoy. I like to see the support. And if you're new, subscribe. I like to see. Uh, my channel grow, and I'm sure you will do. I like to see the support, and I will keep posting every week. Without further ado, and um, without further delay, I will indeed continue to this video. Now, the main focus I like to talk about is the gameplay. When it comes to combat, here is um, quite basic, I guess. I like to say, I don't, I don't want to say too basic because it has other things that obviously. You could say that it's not basic when I'm, to when I'm talking about certain characters. When it comes to combo input, for that reason I call it basic. I mean, you can just basically deny me or not, but I do find it basic. But it's not a bad basic, it's just something easy to, to, play, to play with. Also, you, like I said, you got characters. That has talents, which basically you increase their damage and basically has other benefits, increases your weapons, and basically leveling up your characters, which I find it myself basic. Like, again, it's not, nothing bad. But the reason I call it basic is basically a good base. Not sure if I'm explaining it right. But it's basically. A good enough basic that a lot of people can draw in. I mean, th the game itself is humongous. And the game still has a lot of work to do for future patch. I mean, I've heard... I, I keep The game keeps referring to another city which is not yet in the game that I know of. In Azuma City. And... To basically explain with this other seven, uh, well, not the seven, like other five elements, which basically in total are seven elements, which I guess there's seven regions, which each one has seven, each one has one element to each. And that in itself can explain a lot that basically this game is going to be huge. And in a game itself that already came out for openly for. For, the, mm, for any players who plays it, it's a lot of content, and don't get me wrong, it's really entertaining. I've been playing the past two weeks straight, non-stop playing this game, and I'm already ranked 30. I have entered rank 30, and my character is like, up like 50 or 60 around there. And even though you think you've done everything, there's still a lot more to do. And this game is basically... For other, any other type of game similar to this, I never... think satisfied of playing this game every day. It, like, every day when I'm trying to look into my computer and say, like, what am I going to play today? The first thing that comes up in my mind is Genshin Impact. It's really entertaining, and that for, for myself, when it comes to video games, if it's entertaining, it's a really good game. I mean, there's some other things you could basically say. That you can basically change a few things, like for, for example, this game, 
which mounts wouldn't be a problem. I mean, I mean, right now I don't think it needs to, but obviously when it comes to future games, no, no, not future games. That's what I'm talking about. But future updates. Obviously, we're gonna have a bigger region, a bigger sandbox. To basically, put it as an, an, an example. I think mounts would be perfect in the future. Obviously, you're gonna have like more more regions or uh, states. I like to call it regions. And yeah. And now I'm gonna talk about the ambient or the world aspect I like to call. The game in itself, it's beautiful. To be exactly a free game, and to what it specifically looks, I never seen quite like it. I may be wrong, I may be missing out a game that I haven't played that it basically is way better than this, but like I said, this game sparks its own unique uniqueness, and the game environment is absolutely beautiful. You just look around, even, even from daytime or nighttime, it's just amazingly beautiful. And for only for the two regions that exist at the moment, I don't want to even imagine what the other places look like. I mean, we got Mondstadt, which basically reference just a bit like Germany, for example. It has a night vibe and that kind of stuff, and it's just really cool and, and nice to be in. And then you got Liyue, a Asian region that it, it's it's a whole new level. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the art style is amazing, including the animation of this game. I mean, in terms of obviously boss designs, <laughs> I mean, look at the wolf you get to go up against. I'm literally running out of words every time I mention that that wolf, and I love wolves, obviously. But this this game is absolutely beautiful. It looks amazingly great. I mean, from my previous video, I did mention like a lot that this game looked like Breath of the Wild. And don't get me wrong, I'm not di dissing Breath of the Wild. I love Breath of the Wild of how open world and freedom you've got, and that's what I'm putting it in this game. I mean, Breath of the Wild has its own own certain mechanics, but Genshin is basically a whole other thing. Especially when you got co-op. It's like Breath of the Wild with co-op, and basically... And this type of game, they mostly are mo mostly like MMOs. Like, you just basically go in and you see other players, but in this game, it's you and the NPCs. A whole story only for you to hear. And if you want to go online, you could just hop on there and be with your friends. I personally, I really like, and I'm not against. And obviously, I'm more of a guy who likes to hear any game's soundtrack. And this game soundtrack, it's the most beautiful thing I've heard. I mean, I got other games that I've played that basically, uh, like, literally marks me as one of my favorite soundtracks, like Persona, or... Or any other games that I've heard. But Genshin, Genshin of Mark is own, like I said, again, unique, its own soundtrack. The soundtrack is so beautiful, there's nothing that goes against it. You just play the game, and you're in your own world, your own peaceful place. And there's nothing else more to say it, so that Literally, I'm lost to words when it comes to the soundtrack. When you go up against the boss, like the dragon itself, or the wolf, or even just adventuring out the world. There's nothing marks its own way that you basically go up against. The soundtrack is just beautiful. And so, or everything that I just said, Genshin isn't that bad. Like I said, this game mark sparks its own unique. There's other games that probably best it out in Genshin, but Genshin seems to be that doesn't mark that wants to best them. It's just trying to be its own unique game. 
that basically people are just gonna just can hop on and enjoy enjoy some farming or grinding for XP or materials each day and to be honest for me for these type of games I get easily bored when it comes to farming and like that's the whole concept of these type of games but just think about it I've literally seen games that basically could take you months to grind for one thing specifically and sometimes you could just say that is it worth it I mean some things are worth the grind for but you're just getting for one thing and Genshin at the moment obviously is still in development and still patching and adding new characters and probably even new content for the game but for what it is at the moment there's a lot well, there's a lot of things that a lot of people can do at the moment. Meanwhile, they wait for the next pat update or anything. People can enjoy this game as it is at the moment. And even though they they can say that they have run out of things to do, you still got a lot of things to do. You could just grind a lot of things to get prepared for the next update, so that you can get the new characters that you would like to get grind things so you can basically upgrade some few other things because of the update they brought like new weapons and all that kind of stuff and even new content basically being prepared for something that is that you don't know that it's coming and our overall opinion is Genshin is unique and should I recommend a lot of people like I said in the previous video I do recommend people to play this game this game is pretty pretty fun Leave a, leave a comment to what's your opinion towards the game. I'd like to see other opinions from a lot of people from from this game. I'd like to know a little bit more. And yeah, that's my overall opinion against an impact. Until next time.